Uh, they're running a commercial on black radio. Black radio. They're not running on white radio. They're running on, on black radio. And they're telling the black folk on the commercials that the president has cut funding to Planned Parenthood and it's designed to uh, affect women's health care choices. And, and so this is supposed to hurt us. But what they're not telling now, black people in the commercial, the funding that he cut is abortion. And he told them, he told Planned Parenthood, I won't cut this money if you promise us with this money you won't do abortions. They say, no, we're going to keep doing our abortion. He said, then you're not going to get the money. With the way abortion disproportionately affects us, I praise the Lord for that. I think, I think that's a good move because I think we ought to live. We have a right to live. We have a right to live. We make up 13% of the population. Our women make up 8% of the 13%. And the ovulating women make up 3% of that 8%. So that 3% of women are responsible for 39% of the nation's abortions. And I thank God for every effort that slows that process down. And as we've often said, that if there's someone here today who has had an abortion and you've repented, you're forgiven, praise the Lord. But, but since they, see, they're targeting us. And here's what these people count on. I want this out there. They count on black people being stupid. Um, whites will tell you, they ask each other, and they ask certain ones of us whom they feel comfortable enough right. to ask. Because, you know, don't nobody want to be accused of being a racist. They'll tell you. They ask, why do black people support Planned Parenthood and support candidates who support abortions, but abortions is disproportionately taking out black people? Now, other people ask that question. Well, these people know how to cloak what they're trying to do to us in, in terms that we'll accept, like it's <clears throat> health care, health care, health care. We for women's health care. Women health care choices, health care. That's the devil. That's the devil. And the devil is, 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 is uh, here I am. Why are you talking about this on the last Sunday before Christmas? Because Christ was born. I guess the band went to sleep. He was born. He was born. I'm so glad Mary didn't have no abortion. Ooh, boy, we've been, we've been messed up. We'd still be under the law. No, we'd be Gentiles. Serving some false god. Drinking blood. Being, doing crazy things. But, but the Lord was born. And not too late now. Y'all you, missed that. Y'all missed that. Amen. So, so they, they, they dress it up. But I'm so glad. You know what? I'm so glad. Aren't you glad that regardless of how you got here, the circumstances of your birth, whether it was a poor family uh, or a rich family, whether it was legitimate or illegitimate, whether they were, you know, they were cheating and that night they weren't even married. They were listening to how can you mend a broken heart? And what can stop the rain from falling down? However it happened, aren't you glad that you are here? <laughs> well, you know, these folks, when they, they, wasn't out, they wasn't out to do right now. They, a lot of us, you know, praise God. You know, my, my daddy was something, you know. The, the temptation... Did an ode to my dad. Was the third of September. <laughs> yeah, he was a he, man. Listen, he was a Rolling Stone, and uh, and you know what? 
And to this day, even when my mama, when my mama was sick, and when it looked like my mama was getting ready to go to heaven, you know, and she was going in and out of consciousness, uh, the only man she mentioned was my daddy. <laughs> now, what does that tell you? And, 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 and he's been gone since 78. Now you know what? That's an impression. And 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 she's a church mother in the church of God in Christ. Still remember Thomas James, what they call him T Man. Senior. Amen. No, but I'm glad that, you know, they let the man live. I imagine that some people out there watch this and say, well, I sure wish they would have aborted him, but they didn't. They didn't. Now you're stuck with me <laughs> until Jesus called me home. Amen. So to God be the glory. So you all figure out how we can get the word out that that, that 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 advertisement is not it's not fair it's not true it's not accurate they're trying to hoodoo us again you know uh they're trying to hoodoo us again um it's, it's the same old record anytime anytime they try to pull here's how you know as african-american they're trying to pull a fast one on you no matter what the issue is no matter what the issue is they go back to the edmund pettis bridge they go back to Martin Luther King. They go back to the 60s and the March. So they, they, that's, that's how you know you, you've been had. They got to go all the way back. Now, what we're talking about happened yesterday. See, you go back to things. That's, that's a, that, is a, that is a debate technique. That's a style. Pull you in on something that they know we all agree upon. It's, it's demagoguery, actually. Pull you in on something that they know that we all agree upon. To get you to agree go along with something that you that, that that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with what they're talking about